Hello, Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here with you all, and so honored to be to speak about the progressive web apps with you all because this PWA technology can change the web technology and the change our business and give us the business uh, benefits and especially for our user. Okay? Who knows about PWA before? Please raise your hand. Okay, I can see hands here and there. Good. Then it makes me easier to explain. Uh oh. How can I thanks? Please wait a minute. Okay. Okay. First, please let me introduce my myself. My name is Ivan Cristianto. I'm a senior web engineer at Tenap and also I'm a Google Developer Expert in Web Technology. And last thing, I'm a WordCamp Jakarta 2019 organizer. So we are going to have WordCamp Jakarta in February 16. I welcome you all to come and have fun with us. All right. Just a little bit story before I came to Kiel. I went to this amazing event in uh, San Francisco. It's called Chrome Developer Summit, where Google, um, this is a Google event to, to tell us about what technology we can use today and what technology we can use tomorrow. Okay? And there's a, there's a tiny story behind this. I made my presentation before I go to this event. And I sent to David, and David said uh, in an email back to me, Oh man, your presentation is too long. Okay, and I just realized that my presentation is before lunch, and in the nasi lemak room. So it's very hard to give a long presentation, and I just redo my presentation everything. I start my presentation from scratch, and with a little bit knowledge that I got from this from the summit, and to give to you all. Okay. The first day of this Chrome Dev Summit is all the talking about fast website, fast loading website. You can see the, uh, the, the session is about speed, speed, and speed. Speed, speed, speed. And then another one after last is about speed, speed, and also handle web media in faster way. And also another speed with the e-commerce website, another speed and speed. So first day, we are talking about how to make fast websites. Okay, fast website is not just about fast in the 4G network. We are lucky to live in Kuala Lumpur or in Jakarta or in Singapore that we are we have 4G connection in every uh, part of the city. But some of our friends out there doesn't have that luxury. They only have 3G connection, or even worse, 2G connection. But how can we give our website, or our, uh, how can we service them with our product in that network? That's come with the PWA. There are so many definitions with the PWA out there, but I like this most. A new way to deliver amazing user experience on the web. Okay. Imagine this. You have a great WordPress website, very informative, and very um, it could benefit the user. But if the user cannot use your website, the site is loading very slow in a 3G network. They're not going to they're not, they're not going to use your website or your services, and it's your loss because we believe in Google statistic in South. And India, there are more 3G users in the network rather than 4G. Because 4G only in a big city, but 3G network in another part of the country. Some says PWA is fire. With F is fast, integrated, reliable, and engaging. So PWA site is to be reliable in any network condition. That's PWA. Okay, I would like to do some uh, exercise here. Can you open your Google Chrome now, please? And make sure you have a 
um, internet connection, of course, and open this app. Squash.app. You will see this kind of uh, logo. Okay, what is this site do? This is a sophisticated PWA built by the Google team. This, this use a service worker, a web worker, and web assembly to convert your images and compress it in any network condition and in any device. Okay, you can add it to your um, mobile and add to home screen and it could be an app, a web application. And you can use anywhere, even without network condition. So imagine in offline mode, this site is still working. You can compress images and it's just work. You can try it later. Um, it's it's working in Linux and Linux and my, uh, sorry in Windows and soon to come to Mac next year early. So you got the idea of uh, of the PWA. Right? So where to start? Okay, where to start? How to make your website faster and PI PWA compatible? First, this is a, this is still new that I got from um, from the summit. It's called web.dev. This website is allow you to test your website with the scoring system and tell you what you can improve with your website. For example, I create a website, a demo website, uh, wckia2018.eventistiantor.com, and this is what I uh, is give me. I would like you to pay attention on this part. First contentful pain, first meaningful pain until the time to interactive. This the number that you need to improve with your website. If you try your website, is it working in 3G network? <laughs> is it working in um, in slow mobile phone? Because not everybody has iPhone, right? Our users out there still use a cheap model of the handphone or smartphone. And is our site working for them? This website, this tool gives you um, index on, on how fast your website is loaded and what you can improve. I would like to uh, talk about these three sections, which is the very important of PWA. You need to make a fast website. Fast, 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 and super fast. Your website doesn't, uh, your user doesn't need to wait anything, uh, sorry, just they don't need to wait too long to see your website. And you can read more about how to make the fast website. And your website needs to be work in any network condition. Any network condition, even if you are in Wi-Fi, okay, Wi-Fi that is lying. Okay, what we have Wi-Fi connection, but it's lying to us. For example, we are in a lift or the toilet. It just doesn't work. Okay, and this and your product or your website still working. And of course, you need, your site need to be safe and secure. HTTPS is a must. Here is some uh, small changes that you can use as a rule of thumb. You need to optimize images, of course, because however, uh, how fast your website is, if you upload two megabyte or four megabyte image, it will slow your website down. You can you need to remove unnecessary code. For example, I still remember those times people love to use slime in their home page. I, I believe people still do that this day. That slide of code is only happen in home page, but why you load the slider code in single post? No need, right? You only need to use slider in home page, so don't uh, don't load it in single post. That's an excellent code. You need to remove unnecessary code. You need to leverage browser caching and avoid blocking code. Okay, I like to talk about the blocking code. Uh, there's a tutorial called Critical Rendering Path uh, that tell you how the browser work in rendering your website. And in fact, CSS and JavaScript is a blocking code. 
what I mean by blocking code is the browser stop rendering after uh, after that CSS and JavaScript load. So you need to remove that blocking code. You need to use um, asynchronous JavaScript and optimize your CSS. And code speed. You don't need to load everything at once and give to the user. You just do to give the user what they need. There's an analogy for this. Imagine you come to an empty restaurant. Uh, you and your, probably your girlfriend or wife come to an uh, empty restaurant. And then you ask for the menu for the, from the waiters. And you wait. And, wait for, uh, and, and you wait for two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, the menu haven't come yet. And you ask the waiters, Where's the menu? I'd like to order. And the waiter said, oh wait, we are preparing all the menu for you. So when the menu comes, we just give you instantly. That's what happened to our user with our website. So when the user visit our website, it's just white blank screen, right? And the user need to wait until it's loaded everything and just boom, this is your website. This is everything. You just scroll and see the content. That's what happened in uh, in default themes of WordPress. We still need to improve that. Let's WordPress case plugin. There are so many WordPress case plugin out there. Uh, this is only some of it. And my favorite is this two: uh, W3, W3 Total Case and Lightspeed Case. But uh, I don't recommend anyone to use that, but use whatever you prefer, as long as it makes your surface a uh, WordPress site faster in server side. Um, for example, in Lightspeed case or WP case, uh, total case, you can compress JavaScript into one file, or the JavaScript into one file, and all the CSS into one file. This is very good, and also it's doing the paint case to make your website faster in rendering, so the server side rendering. And to make the to make the WordPress site become and uh, uh, enable in offline mode, we need Surface Worker. Surface Worker is a network proxy that live in the background of your browser. This is to catch all the requests and return you the case instantly. For example, when your user start uh, request your website, it goes to the service worker, and service worker will check if we have the case or not. If we have the case, then it return instantly. This is what uh, the piece of technology that allow web to be able offline. And if not available, then the service worker will ask the network or your server and it returns to set the cache. So during the first page load, service worker is not installed yet. Okay, it happened in the, ne in the next visit. And this piece of technology allows us to, uh, to leverage the cache in, in the browser and give it instant to your website. Service worker already support in Major browser, and by by this, it's allow, allow you to like uh, develop a website and work in many multiple devices. For example, Linux uh, with Firefox or with Chrome, um, Windows with Edge or Chrome or Opera, and so on. But it still not come to the Mac user yet. It will come to the Mac user by early next year. Okay, to make this service worker work, it's a little bit need, uh, I can say, uh, high skill in JavaScript. This is, this tool called Workbox, it makes us easier to um, install service worker in our websites. And the most important and the most happy news for me is now it comes with the PWA plugin. So WordPress has now PWA plugin support by XWP and Google. 
this use um, this use the workbox tool that I told you about, and it's very easy to do. Let's have an exercise again. Now open your Google Chrome. Go to this bit.ly wc 2018 demo, and you will see this website. I created this website in less than one hour. Okay, this website is not a replacement for the uh, Android app that you download for the WC uh, what you follow the book, but this will to see the speakers, schedule, and organizers information, and it's. Uh, it's also allow you to add to a home screen and it's just for a slide and mobile app. Please forgive me about the front end stuff because I'm not a front end developer. I just come uh, as fast as possible to make this website as a PWA. You need this on the plane. Sorry? You need this on the plane. Yeah. I, I code this while on the plane with a minimum internet connection. So with this, um, the comparison with uh, with the Android app. Android app, you need to download eight megabyte if I'm not mistaken. Mistake. And this app only 150 kilobyte. You can see the information, but not as sophisticated as the Android one. But you can still see the information with just 150 kilobyte. Isn't that right? Isn't that exciting, right? You make the web just like an app. That's a PWA. Okay, since I'm a web developer, it's, it's good to give a presentation with a code, right? Just a little bit. Using this plugin, I only need to define what I need to cache, uh, to define the rule, what I need to store in the local storage. In this example, I catch all the image and save it into the local storage with the strategy of cache first. What it means by cache first? When the request made to the service worker, sorry, when the request made to the server, it catched by the service worker. If we have the cache, then serve the cache first. That's it. It's just case, uh, if we don't have the cache, ask the server and store it in the cache. And we can allow to set the expiration for the image. Uh, for this example, I set it into one day. And another part is Google Forms. I'm sure that you all have a Google Forms in your website. Every site now has a Google Forms. But it's slow. Who agree Google Forms is slow? Right? I see many hands. With this, you can catch Google Forms in your local source. So, when your user visit your site, the second time, it doesn't need to load another a Google form from the server anymore. It's just serve the Google forms from your local storage or page. This is definitely make your website load faster. The good thing about PWA, it comes with a lot of functions to make the website more looks like an app but you don't have to apply everything. For your user that just come to your website, we call it irregular user. You just to make your website very fast, secure, and use the physical worker so it works offline. But more to that, if you have like a service that your user use every day, you can add another features. For example, push notifications. Like Android app, yeah, when, when the organizer puts the notifications to you, you see in your, in your mobile app. This also works with the web, with PWA. It works with post notification, it works with the add to home screen, so it looks like an app. And it has a credential API. What is a credential API? For your user to log in to your website, you just need to, uh, to use the fingerprint sensor, for example. It just use the credential API, and your user can log in easily because the credential is stored in the mobile device securely. And for e-commerce site, you can use payment API. 
So they can connect to the Google Pay or another, uh, so for example, Stripe. It has the payment API, then with all this uh, credit card information is stored locally, safe and secure. When it comes to use the payment API, you usually just one click buy or one click tap and then <laughs> it's finished. Uh, your e-commerce already accept payment by using the, another service, but in your mobile, it's just like one tap away. That's been a little So, if you are a developer or a business, why you need to invest into PWA? Here's some study case. Uber mobile site. It works in 2G network with just 3 seconds. And 50 kilobyte only for the core app, for the first load. And then it loads everything in lazy load. So it's, when you open up m.uber.com, it's just fast. Instagram, it has a camera access with web. It has offline upload. So when you upload Instagram offline, it's stored into the local storage and wait for the network to be online and it upload your images. It has a push notification and adaptive streaming as well. Twitter. After, twi after Twitter um, changed the mobile site into PWA, they see a lot of improvement with the tweets. 75% increase in tweets. And also 20% decrease in bounce rate. That's a good thing for business, right? And more, if you would like to see about the success story of stats.com, you see how many websites and business out there implement PWA for their website and it improves the business overall. Okay, here's the here's the catch. Some says PWA will replace Android app. But for my opinion, it doesn't have to do to replace Android app. In some case, and, and some study case says that PWA sites could work with uh, Android app as well, like parallelly. When your user doesn't need to install your um, service into an Android app, they can use the mobile sites. But some, some users, after they get convenient with your mobile sites, they install the Android app. Rather than just go to your website, to use our service, please download our app. And your app is 100 megabyte away. Right? Why don't just they use the website type away from your websites? It's just like 150 kilobyte and they can use your service. Okay? So, if you're a web developer, you need to convince your boss, just go to PW Stats and say there's a success story a lot of in here. And if you are entrepreneur, I would say I recommend you to look and invest in PWA sites so you can have more users to come and join with your business and services. This is the like a vision for Google. They call it next billion users. So Google like to support us in Southeast Asia and India and Brazil that has very slow internet connection compared to another country. PWA site is a rescue. Your user can still use your websites even though in very unreliable network connection. To make a PWA site is not an easy job. I can tell you that. It's an evaluate and iterating process. We keep evaluate your site, analyze it, remove unnecessary code, remove opti uh, and optimize images, remove unnecessary JavaScript. Actually, remove everything that has slowing us slowing down your websites. It's a tiring process, especially for WordPress, that anyone can install plugin and suddenly the website break or slowing down, right? But there is a catch for this. You can use Lighthouse CI. We, uh, in our company, we use this to block any code to deploy to the production if the Lighthouse call is lower than threshold. What this means? We keep we, we need to keep the standard of performance to give to our customer 
faster website, fast loading website, and we block that by in very um, base level. We not we not be able to push the code in the production if the web if the score is lower than the threshold. You can use this technique in your workflow development to ensure you deliver fast website. As I promised, since I'm going to talk before lunch, I won't be long. And that's it. Thank you very much.